they will not fart before marriage. As soon as you come back from the honeymoon, they're just ripping up. Bum, 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 bum. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I got the ring! I got the power! It's getting, it's getting, it's getting kinda hectic. <laughs> it's almighty ring right here, man. Things change. Actually, my wife, she did fart once before marriage, you know, we were dating for four years, she was online, and she just went, <laughs> and I was like, I gotta get a ring, oh, she's too cute. <laughs> oh, man. No, 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 trust me. Things change. Before you're married, single woman, they wear nice underwear, like, you know, all the single ladies in here, you guys wearing like thongs, lace, lingerie. After you get married, I don't know when this transformation takes place, just big granny parachute underwear. All the married women here, you guys know, all the married men know what I'm talking about. Just big, comfortable parachute underwear. If someone pushed it out of a plane, she'd be like, it's okay, I got it, I got it. Don't worry, I got it. Just land like an egg, softly. It's all good. Married men, we, 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 we don't even know what a thong looks like anymore. We gotta like scrunch it up ourselves. <laughs> but it's not as fun. <laughs> All we do when you make up your own scrunchie is you do this, you laugh for three seconds, and then you sigh. You're like, <sighs> <sighs> Where are the thongs? I'm like looking for them like a missing sock in a dryer. I know they're here. Where are the thongs? <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, dude, things change. I confronted my wife. I'm like, how come you don't wear thongs anymore? She's like, you don't understand. It's so uncomfortable. It's like flossing your butt. I looked at her. I was like, you're so selfish. What about my discomfort? I got the blue ball blues. Dumbfounded. <laughs> things change, man. Before you married, you have spontaneous sex. Everywhere, right? Yeah, he's like, yeah. <laughs> you know, bring in car and the plane and the elevator or wherever, you know. After get married, you know, you're so tired, you just you, you schedule sex. Married people schedule sex. You know, like, are you tired? Yeah. Friday? Okay, Friday. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, are you tired? She's like, no, no. I'm like Mortal Kombat. Come here! Finisher! On the spot. And then I do a special move and I rip her heart out. I'm like, mm, 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 mm. Fatality. <laughs> That's how it is, man. That's how it is. I'm a preacher's kid, man. Make some noise if you grew up in church, right? Make some noise. If you grew up in church. I'm a church people that. See, I grew up, you know, my dad was really strict and conservative, you know, premarital sex, really evil sin, you know. All my older brothers and sisters were virgins till marriage. I got two older brothers, two older sisters, virgins till marriage. My, my older sisters, their first kiss was with their husbands, all right? Yes, I know it's hard for the whores to understand this room, but it's possible, all right? Some of the girls are like, what? The versions are like unicorns. <laughs> they still exist? Yes. They still exist. My whole life, I'm like, I'm gonna save it to marriage, I'm gonna save it to marriage, save it to marriage, you know, there's that church guilt, you know. And when I was 20, you know, it was just happened just one night, uh, oh. It was over that quick, just, oh. <laughs> I remember I was laying there, I was like, oh my god, I have AIDS. <laughs> I know I have AIDS. 